We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, it's Phantom Manus, the second last figure Friday. I'm calling this one The Others. This is just a selection of other characters from the film that uh, couldn't quite fit into the other categories that I'd sort of put together. Um, so yeah, I know there's there's still more, but um, yeah, just sort of wanted to cover another half a dozen figures. Um, so we're going to take a look at a couple of the pod races that were included in 1999's uh, action figure line. It includes, uh, we'll start off with uh, Odie Mandrell. Now I remember getting this one for Christmas one year, and that was, it was really cool, you know, I was, I was kind of like, oh, who's this guy, and it was, you know, I sort of just re was really into the aliens, I was just, this is one that really got me into different looking aliens in, in Star Wars, and it's something that fascinates me to this day, I love getting this sort of diverse range of characters, you know, I don't, unfortunately, I don't think it's as diverse as it once was. In terms of alien life. But uh, yeah, Odie Mandrell was one that, uh, you know, I've actually I've actually got a uh, carded version of this figure too, which, you know, just for that sort of nostalgia of getting it. I once had a photo of me on Christmas Day holding, holding the figure up to the camera, sort of show... When mum was taking photos, but I don't know where that photo has gone. But of course, he came with a pit droid. I'm pretty sure it was this one. I'm just sort of looking over. It may have been a different version of this pit droid. So I've got a few pit droids now. But yeah, Odie Mandrell. And uh, yeah, going on to play. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer on the 64, he was my go-to. Always got Odie Mandrell, just simply because I had the action figure of it. Um, so that was always cool. Gascano, this is another <laughs> interesting... I don't know, I love this guy. Let's see if I can zoom up on his face a little bit more. No, it wants to... can almost see a little smiley face there. <laughs> but yeah, little four-armed Gascano forearms. I'm pretty sure they're all on in the right spots. They all just sort of pop off. They're little ball joints, little ball and socket joints. It's kind of the only articulation this one has, but... As well as the head, but you know it's uh, you know he was one of the pod racers. You know they they did a bunch of the pod racer figures, um, never completed them. There were a lot that didn't get done, which I would have loved to have seen, um, but I do have all the ones that are available. But again, this one was from nineteen ninety nine. That's why I'm sharing it today. He's got his little pit droid. Again, he's just sort of got the, the ball and socket in the head. Swivel arms and swivel legs. So then we go to Padme on Naboo. Sort of the end battle. I don't think this is the right the right weapon that she comes with. It looks a little bit too big. But that's okay, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, very much overdue for an upgrade. They did do one in the Movie Heroes line back in 2011, 2012. Um, yeah, not quite the the super duper accurate likeness. I honestly think this one's probably a little bit better um, in terms of facial likeness. Um, but yeah, the Black Series just got a version of this Padme, which is really, really nice. The definitely more, the sort of more action scene orientated Padme from the film. You got to run around and do some action. 
which is cool. So in your action, we've got uh, the Boo Royal Guard here. Now this is what figure, I can't remember picking this guy up at all. But yeah, it's yeah, not the most exciting of characters or figures, but, you know, it definitely fills the scene up. It's definitely a little bit more of the 90s aesthetic. Sort of semi, sort of pre-posed and probably a little bit buffer than he needs to be, but... You know, he's not total triangle body. But I like the look of the Naboo outfits. Like, they went for that sort of... You know, a lot of warm, earthy hues to their outfits. I really like that. So that's cool. And, um... He's not going to stand. That's okay. He can fall over. There's a Chancellor Valorum. I don't have his staff. Um, to get this one loose. Now again, sort of, yeah, a lot of really nice sort of ornate detailing on his outfit here. I mean, you look closely and the paint job's kind of a little bit slapped on there, but it kind of works well. Yeah, if you get up really close, you can kind of just see it's, you know, split a little bit of red here, a little bit of yellow over the blue. But the texture brings it all out a little bit, a little bit nicer. A little bit of a metallic sort of sheen to the inside there. His belt, blue on the inside. He's pointing... Still think there's a reasonably good likeness of uh, Terence Stamp. He was also Zod from Superman films. But yeah, another another sort of just sort of scene filler. Doesn't really need to be updated or anything, I don't think. And that's fine. And last but not least, we've got TC-14, which has just had a new figure done by Disney. Um, and sort of Disney parks have got their own little line of builder figure, builder droid sort of action, style action figures, um, which I think, I think they're all made by Hasbro still, um, just given as a sort of a Disney parks exclusive sort of thing or a Disney shop exclusive. And uh, yeah, it's the first time TC-14 has been released since. Which is cool. This one still holds up nicely for me. I don't... I would like to get the new one, but... You know, this is you know nice vac metal look. Which doesn't get done anymore. And apparently it's a you know costly process and not fantastic for the environment. I'm not sure why. I haven't looked into it myself. Um... But for me personally, I think this this one still sort of holds up. It's got that nice shine, does what it needs to do. It's got the uh, the big silver bullet there, <laughs> and a couple of cups, and they come off too. Or at least the middle part does. I don't think no, the little ones are all part of the tray. So I have no real reason to to update this one. Yeah, it looks fine. It still holds up nicely today. The articulation's not there, but again, for a figure that's just sort of standing there, delivering tea to the Jedi, she's fine. It's fine. So there is what I've labelled as the others. <laughs> We've got one more figure Friday. That will be the last video for the month. So I'm looking forward to next week. So there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for another one. May the Force be with you, always.